cuts. And what I've proposed, you'll hear Senator McCain say, well, he's proposing a whole bunch of new spending, but actually I am cutting more than I'm spending so that it will be a net spending cut. The key is whether or not we've got priorities that are working for you as opposed to those who've been dictating uh, the policy in Washington lately, and that's mostly lobbyists and special interests. We've got to put an end to that. Senator McCain. Well, Teresa, thank you. And I can see why you feel that cynicism and mistrust, because the system in Washington is broken. And I have been a consistent reformer. I have advocated and taken on whether they are the big money people by reaching across the aisle and working with Senator Feingold on campaign finance reform, whether it being uh, a variety of other issues, working with Senator Lieberman on trying to address climate change. I have a clear record of bipartisanship. The situation today cries out for bipartisanship. Senator Obama has never taken on his, the leaders of his party on a single issue. And we need to reform. And so let's look at our records as well as our rhetoric. That's really part of your, your mistrust here. And now I suggest that maybe you go to some of these organizations that are the watchdogs of what we do, like the Citizens Against Government Waste or the National Taxpayers Union or these other organizations that watch us all the time. I don't expect you to watch every vote. And you know what you'll find? This is the most liberal big spending record in the United States Senate. I have fought against excessive spending and outrageous. I have fought to reduce the earmarks and eliminate them. Do you know that Senator is for $860 billion of new spending now? New spending? Do you know that he voted for every, for every increase in spending that I saw come across the floor of the United States Senate while we were working to eliminate these pork barrel earmarks? He voted for nearly a billion dollars in pork barrel earmark projects, including, by the way, three million dollars for an overhead projector at a planetarium in Chicago, Illinois. My friends, do we need to spend that kind of money? I think you have to look at my record and you have to look at his. Then you have to look at our proposals for our economy. Not $860 billion in new spending, but for the kinds of reforms that keep people in their jobs, get middle-income Americans working again, and getting our economy moving again. You're going to be examining our proposals tonight and in the future. And energy independence is a way to do that, is one of them. And drilling offshore and nuclear power are two vital elements of that. And I've been supporting those, and I know how to fix this economy and eliminate our dependence on foreign oil and stop sending $700 billion a year overseas. Well, we've run out of time. We have this one one minute discussion period going on here. There are new economic realities out there that everyone in this hall and across this country understands that there are going to have to be some choices made. Uh, health policies, energy policies, and entitlement reform. What are going to be your priorities in what order? Which of those will be your highest priority your first year in office, and which will follow in sequence? Oh, Senator that, McCain. That, that, the three priorities were health. The three, health, health care, energy, and entitlement reform, Social Security and Medicare. In what order would you put them in terms of priorities? I, I think you can work on all three at once, uh, uh, Tom. I, I think it's very important that we reform our entitlement programs, my friends, we are not going to be able to provide the same benefit for present-day workers that we are present-day today. We're going to have to sit down across the table, Republican and Democrat, as he did in 1983 between Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill. I know how to do that. I have a clear record of reaching across the aisle, whether it be Joe Lieberman or Russ Feingold or Ted Kennedy or others. That's, that's my clear record. We can... We can work on nuclear power plants, build a whole bunch of them, create millions of new jobs. We, we have to have all of the above, alternate fuel, alternative fuels, wind, tide, solar, natural gas, clean coal technology. All of these things we can do as Americans, and we can take on this mission, and we can overcome it. My friends, some of the $700 billion ends up in the hands of terrorist organizations. As far as health care is concerned, obviously, to make sure that they can afford their premiums and that they can have affordable and available health care. 
that's the next issue. But we can do them all at once. There's no, and we have to do them all at once. All three you mentioned are compelling national security requirements. I'm trying to play by the rules that you all established. Senator Obama, if you would give us your list of priorities and real questions about what can be done. We're going to have to prioritize, uh, just like a family has to prioritize. Now, I've listed the things that I think have to be at the top of the list. Uh, energy, we have to deal with today because you're paying 380 here in Nashville for gasoline, and it could go up. And it's a strain on your family budget, but it's also bad for our national security because countries like Russia and Venezuela and, you know, in some cases, countries like Iran uh, are benefiting from higher oil